Tycho's Nova. In 1572, Danish astronomer Tycho Brahe noticed a new star in the sky. He observed this new star for a year and a half as it slowly got brighter, even becoming visible in broad daylight, until it peaked and slowly began to dim until it faded from view. He called it Nova Stella. In 1866, astronomer William Higgins made the first spectroscopic observations of Nova and proposed they resulted from the cataclysmic explosion of a star. In the 1920s, astronomers began studying a new category which were considered much larger than typical Novae. In the 1930s, the term supernova was coined The most recent of the major cosmic eruptions in Orvington was the extraordinary double star explosion, the light of which reached Urantia in AD 1572. This conflagration was so intense that the explosion was clearly visible in broad daylight. In 1973, John Wellen and Iko Iben created the standard model for Type 1A supernovae, which Tycho's Nova is now known to be. They postulated that supernovae of this type are the result of a transfer of mass from a companion star, creating a double star explosion. The scientific community accepted their models and Type 1a are considered to be of double star origin. Further evidence mounted in 2004 when the remnant of the companion star responsible for Tycho's Nova was discovered. But was Tycho's Nova the most recent major cosmic eruption? Kepler's Nova was witnessed 32 years later in 1604. Wouldn't that event been more recent? From an earthly perspective, it would be more recent. From a universal perspective, it would not be. In time, Kepler's Nova happened before Tycho's Nova. It just happened further away, so the light took longer to reach Urantia. That is why it was not seen until after Tycho's Nova. These distances were not known prior to publication of the Urantia book. In 